Typically right now, uh, there is quite a population of illegals that are coming to the area mostly for uh, migrant worker type things or they're the farm laborers. Um, we've had a real tough time in the, in the past uh, because when it was ICE, they would not under any circumstances do anything with them unless they had committed a crime, uh, usually up to the felony level. Um, or that was when it was the uh, INS. When they switched to ICE, now ICE has been a little bit better. Um, they are starting to, to deport some people. Um, it's still pretty tough to get a hold from ICE on anybody who has not committed a serious crime. You know, I, I can't say, you know, we're ever going to become a Joe R. Pyle and, and start our own detention facility uh, on the illegals. Uh, but something's got to change, and, and I think the biggest thing is to help guys like Eric get in um, where that they can make that change so we have something behind us so we can move it forward. Um, until it changes at the state level, uh, we're really going to be stuck, and, we're, and we're, there's a lot of liability for holding people uh, even illegals, uh, because right now the courts are going against us. I think uh, Chris Hartung said it best when she said that we're currently a sanctuary state, and, and that does appear to be the case right now. The key word that you said, Bill, is, is illegal immigration, and the fact is it is illegal, and we need to stop it. We need to do something about it. Uh, working the street, we have contact with illegal aliens fairly frequently. I can tell you a little story about a gentleman named Andres Cruz, whom went to Clear Lake High School, uh, graduated, and subsequently decided to uh, hold up a convenience store. This would be the Nye store at gunpoint. When we arrested him, Mr. Cruz, it was determined that he had been here illegally since the age of just a few months old as a baby. Now, look at the strain that it's being put on our, our economy, our state economy. We're looking at the education system, we're looking at the health care system, we're looking at the welfare system, the legal system, and in Mr. Cruz's case, the penal system. Uh, there was some talk with Mr. Cruz that he should be deported immediately upon after committing this crime. Well, I think that's kind of a bad answer because anybody who knows anything realizes he's probably going to be back here in a month. Mr. Cruz was subsequently held accountable for his crimes, is doing prison, will then be deported and then be back here in a month. The uh, other issues that we have are we just stopped them right before I took my leave of absence. We stopped a car full of illegals. And again, keyword being illegal, the only identification they had was a uh, Mexican registration voter card. These people basically have, at this point in time, diplomatic immunity. You take them in, and Pete's absolutely correct, uh, to hold them you're going to make some waves. But, again, there are sheriffs out there that are, you know, have constitutional powers, and perhaps we need somebody that's going to maybe push this and advise ICE. We have these undocumented illegal aliens. What are you going to do about it? Perhaps somebody needs to take a stand on that. And I'd be willing to see how far we can go with that, because I think the key word there is illegal, and we need to do something. If you don't if you just sit by and let it happen, it's going to continue to happen. Uh, thank you.